All right, you know the title of the video, so let's kick things off. Now, for the NFL predictions, I got the the Tampa Bay Buccaneers winning the NFC South Division. NFC North, I have the Green Bay Packers, no matter what's going on between Aaron Rodgers and that organization. I don't see anybody else in that division, you know, taking the crown unless the Green Bay Packers just completely fall apart. The NFC East, I am going to be cringing really hard what I'm about to do. I'm taking the doggone Dallas Cowboys. Goodness gracious, I am this that's one pick I'm going to be regretting later on. <laughs> I regret that. Anyway, <clears throat> and last but not least from the NFC West. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Mm. You have the LA Rams, you have the Seattle Seahawks, you have the San Francisco 49ers, you have the Arizona Cardinals. And I'll just pick the LA Rams. There you go. Now, the three wildcard teams, I have the Washington football team making it. I have the Atlanta Falcons. Yes, I said it. Leave me alone. And last but not least, the Arizona Cardinals. They have no excuse. And I can't believe I left out the Seattle Seahawks. I can't believe it. I, I I don't know about that team. It, it just do they got enough offensive firepower? That's all I'm saying. Now the AFC side, I have the who do I have? The AFC South, I have the Indianapolis Colts in a runaway. I have the Cleveland Browns winning the AF, AFC North. AFC East, I have the Buffalo Bills, but I would not be surprised at all if the Miami Dolphins win that division. As a matter of fact, I did say the Miami Dolphins would be competitive last season, and I wouldn't be surprised if they make the playoffs, but they almost did. They missed out by the skin of the teeth, and they did win 10 games a year ago. So, I expect improvement. I expect them to take the next step. But I still have the Buffalo Bills. They're the class of the, that division. And last but not least, in the AFC West, come on now. The Kansas City Chiefs. What are we talking about? What are we doing? Now, the three wildcard teams, I have um, the Baltimore Ravens, Tennessee Titans, and the Miami Dolphins. And uh, I'll give you the Super Bowl picks later. Now I want to talk about the Carolina Panthers scheduling and what do I think about what's going on with them. Now, I saw the schedule. I'm like, it's favorable for the second straight year, but we but said that a year ago and they ended up finishing 5 and 11. So, <clears throat> the best case scenario for this team, 12 wins. The worst case scenario four games realistically I have them go seven and ten I, I just I don't believe in the quarterback position I don't believe in the head coach it's gonna come down to though to the offense the defense I, I expect JC Horn do some things but he needs to do more than just bat passes down he need you know, create turnovers. I don't expect him to be the Jeremy Chin part two, but I just, I want him to do more to just, like I said, just do more just bat passes down and, and everything else. You need to be a tackle machine. You need to make interceptions, you know, put the offense in a good field position so they won't have to work so hard. You know what I mean? The... The linebacking core, I'm I'm not sold at all. Derek Brown, the defensive lineman, I'm not sold on him. He needs to show me something. The secondary, yeah. They 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 got some work to do, so that's why I have them missing the playoffs. So now before I go, 
People are hollering, screaming at Teddy Bridgewater. How dare you criticize the team? How dare you criticize Matt Rule and the Joe Brady and the rest of the crew? How dare you? Blah, 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 blah. Why are you taking shots at the team at, on your way out the door? Let's, despite the fact that he got traded. <clears throat> Long story short, he was on a podcast with two players. Well, one current and one former NFL player. I'll find a video somewhere. If I do, I'll put the link in the description. And um, he, he was critical of the Carolina Panthers due to the uh, two minute, the lack of two-minute drill in the red zone. Now, and then, you sit, and then you sit back and think about it, Carolina Panther fans. You're like, if that's the case, you wonder why they were so bad. Now, for me, I'm shocked that uh, Teddy Bridgewater just went... Went to the dark side for a moment. It just took to took a a shovel. It just bopped the Panthers upside the head. I like damn Teddy two gloves. You okay? But then again, I don't blame him. He feels like he got screwed over. I felt like he could have got a second chance by that team, but whatever. The bottom line is this: there were no excuse for the lack of two minute drill and the. The off in the red zone, if they didn't practice it, if that was true, you're gonna get different answers. You're not gonna get the tr the whole truth, period. So, people scream bloody murder that players need to be telling the truth. They don't need to be lying. But as soon as they do that, you they kill them for it. They should lie. I mean, whatever. I appreciate his honesty. I appreciate the fact that he would speak his mind like that. So, the Carolina Panthers better bring it this season. I know that I did pick them to go 7-10 and 10 and everything, but Sam, not I mean, the, the current quarterback for the Carolina Panthers, a former Jet quarterback, a.k.a. I see ghosts on the field, he better bring it. Is a game not B plus not B minus not B but a game okay and so does Matt rule Joe Brady and the rest of the crew and I wish this team was I wish David Tepper more worried about having my Carolina Panthers be a, a, a trying to be a contender be a winner instead of worrying about all other things trying to bring a soccer team to the Carolinas whatever and with that I'm out what's your thoughts